Let's talk about art school. Every so often I get asked if art school is worth it. I think usually people ask me because I spent a lot of time in art school. I spent four years at the Savannah College of Art and Design, or SCAD, getting an undergrad degree in sequential art, so making comics. And then right after my time in Savannah, I moved up to Vermont, where I spent two years getting my master's degree at the Center for Cartoon Studies, or we'll call it CCS, also studying comics. After my six years of school all focused on comics, my um, career, I guess you would say, has gone in a pretty strange but not totally unrelated direction. While I was at CCS in grad school, I started illustrating books for kids. Eventually that led into me designing t-shirts for little kids uh, for Target. And then after a long time of doing that, I quit and became a full-time freelancer. And among many, many other projects, I now design skateboards for Revive. So even though I spent six years studying comics, and of course I made comics all through my other career, it wasn't until 10 years after art school that I finished my first graphic novel, out fall 2019. Okay, so that's some background. Let's talk about why you should or shouldn't go to art school? This is a complicated question and the answer is gonna be different for every person. So my initial advice is to think a lot about whether it's gonna be worth it for you. Don't think about, do I wanna to go to art school, but think about where you wanna be after art school and if going will help you get there. The answer is gonna be different for everybody, but in my situation was definitely unique. I'm gonna give you my perspective on how I feel about art school and hopefully that'll help you make your own decision. All right, let's talk about why you shouldn't go to art school. Number one, if you are just trying to learn a program or learn technical skills, you know, there's no, absolutely no reason to pay 20, 30, 40 thousand dollars a year to learn how to use Photoshop. You can pay the monthly fee for Photoshop and it comes with free videos that teach you how to use the program. If you're thinking about art school just as a way to use a program or even, you know, how to oil paint or whatever, not the best use for your money. Two, if you are not 100% sure that you want to make art your career, going to art school probably isn't for you. I had a lot of friends that went to art school that, you know, like drawing, like making videos, but, you know, they just wanted to go to college. They weren't sure what they wanted to do, and they, they really suffered through art school, and, you know, they ended up not enjoying the actual work it takes to, to make it through school, and, you know, they ended up going in different directions and they wasted those years and all that money at school. You have to be 100% sure you wanna make this a career. And three, if you're looking at huge debt by going to art school, you know, think very, very hard about whether it's worth going into debt to get that education. So it's, it's very rare for an artist to make a ton of money. Just beware that going into debt and starting your career that far behind will force you to make decisions based on money. And part of the reason we want to be artists so we can spend our time making creative things and uh, that doesn't always align with making money. So I was very lucky and I had a lot of help going to art school. After six years in school, I graduated in 2008 right as the US economy tanked and I couldn't even get a job at Kinko's. Uh, and that was after you know working at a university press where I designed and printed promotional materials. It was over six months and I couldn't get a job. And if I had a ton of student loans and stuff to pay back, I don't know what I would have done. So the, the jump after art school is pretty scary, you know, going from being a student to a professional. While I didn't have a ton of loans to pay off, I've seen how it affects friends. It's just something you really, really have to think about. All this talk about going into debt, you know, student loans don't have to be bad. You're planning for your future by going to art school. You just have to make sure your plan includes 
how you're going to make and save money during and after school. You know, going to art school is all about learning how to make rad stuff. Just be sure you're thinking about the whole money side of it too. Okay, that's all the negative stuff, all the reasons you might not want to go to art school. Let's talk about the fun stuff, why you would want to go to art school. The first and most obvious thing is you are going to learn your craft. Art schools provide majors and courses of study in really specific areas. You know, you can go to school to learn graphic design or 3D animation, fashion design, industrial design. You know, art schools have whole programs so you can learn all about making comics. They'll also provide you with all of the resources you need to make whatever work you're interested in making. So computers, printers, all the really expensive tools to make professional level work will be at the school. And our schools, of course, are a great way to try all of those things out and figure out what tools you like to use. Of course, there's also more to learning your craft and just mastering the tools. Of course, you will learn those things, but art school will also teach you how to be a professional in your industry. You know, how to present your work, how to pitch ideas, how to give and receive feedback, and how to collaborate with other professionals. You know, it's not just learning how to, to draw and design and use the computer. It's also how to talk about your work, learning how to give clients what they want. Also put yourself into the work as well. Basically how to be a professional. All right, the next awesome thing about art school are the teachers. So they are the professionals that are going to be teaching you all these things about your chosen field or industry because they've been doing it. Now anybody who's been to art school has horror stories about teachers that gave them harsh critiques or, you know, sent them down the wrong path. You know, I've definitely had those experiences and, you know, looking back, I can learn from those times even though they weren't as helpful as the times uh, my teachers were awesome. A good teacher will explain everything you need to know. They'll assign you work that will help you grow. They'll empower you to be creative in your own way. And they'll give you feedback that's actually helpful and actionable. I've had a lot of really amazing, amazing professors. You know, they didn't just teach me practical skills like how to use a, a brush and ink to ink my comics. They taught me about the history of comics and opened my eyes to other creators and opened my mind to new ways of thinking creatively. They really helped me build a strong foundation uh, for my, you know, my own personal style and voice for creating work. So one thing I think is really, really important and advice that doesn't get shared much is, you know, research what school you're looking at, but research who the professors are and look at the work that they've made professionally. Of course, not everything is going to align with exactly what you wanna do. You know, find out who your teachers and professors are gonna be because that's a really, really big part of going to art school. All right. Now I'm going to tell you the secret of why art schools can be the best places to learn and start your future as a creative person. You can research your art school's curriculum, you go tour the facilities, you can find out who the teachers are, but what you can't research is actually the most important thing about going to art school, and that is the other students. It's good to find mentors that can act as an example and teach you things you didn't know about your, your chosen field, but really the relationships that you make with the other students at the school, those are the most meaningful relationships you'll have in art school. You know, you're gonna be in rooms full of other people that have similar interests as you and wanna learn about the same things, but they all have different backgrounds, different perspectives that'll really help you if you're open to learning with your peers. It's really easy to have this real sense of camaraderie form in art school. You're all working on similar projects, but you're doing it with your own voice. And really the relationships you make with other students are gonna be the ones that take you into your professional life. You're all gonna rise up together. Rise. When I think about it, 
Every opportunity I've gotten as a professional has come from my peers in art school. So this is the first book I illustrated and this actually helped me pay for graduate school. But I got this job because of making a mini comic with a friend recommended me to her editor who is also putting this book together. So I got to do 80, 100, I forget how many illustrations for a book that was in bookstores just because a friend of mine recommended me. So even though this book worked as a great example, you know, this is professional work that I could show to people. The next book series I did was because a friend from school did productions on these books and thought I would be a good fit for these as well. And then of course, that led to the next thing, the next thing. Actually, the graphic novel I just finished, the editor for that book went to SCAD and worked at CCS while I was going to school there. My job designing at Target came because of my wife's friends from SCAD. Here's another thing. I met my amazing wife and fell in love with her at art school. So the, the relationships you make at art school will stay with you forever. And that is the most important thing about going to art school. I, I regret not staying in better touch with my friends because uh, I have such fond memories of you know, getting better at making comics with them. Okay. All this is to say that going to art school will provide you with a lot of opportunities. You know, you'll have to work really hard and you'll have to be open to new experiences. But the cool thing is it's, it's art school and the work will be fun. And the whole structure of art school is to help you improve really, really fast. And then yeah, take it from a guy who, who was the awkward nerd with no friends in high school. It's easy to make lifelong friends at art school because the place is full of strange, awkward, and interesting people that are there for the same reasons you are. All right, is art school for everybody? No. You really gotta think super hard whether it's gonna be right for you. My biggest recommendation is to think about where you wanna be in two or four or six years and then decide is art school gonna help you get there? But at the same time, don't let fear hold you back from going and having an amazing experience because it'll change your life. It definitely changed mine. Okay, that's enough of me babbling. Hopefully this was helpful. If you have any questions, please, please, please leave a comment below. I'll, I'll answer any question about art school. It's something I, I love to, to talk about and you know, I think back on my time at art school a lot. All the stuff I learned and the friendships I made. Okay, that's it for this video. Thank you so, so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.